here at Better Guns and Gear. Got a uh, unboxing for you today. Just picked up a Spikes Tactical Strip Lower Receiver. Check it out. All right, I'm gonna put it on the scale for you guys. Looks like it's coming in at about 8.4 ounces. Uh, I paid about $95 for this at my local gun shop. I think it's a really good product, a good fit and finish. I'd give this product uh, two thumbs up. All right, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be doing some color filling on these grooves here. Picked up some paint here from Home Depot. We'll show you what that looks like here in a second. All right, guys, we're going to jump right into this color fill here. So uh, these are the paints we're going to be using again. I showed you guys earlier. I'll give you another close-up look. The reason I'm using this gold here is because I plan on uh, getting the AR gold trigger, and I want a good match here, so we're going to do the Punisher skull in the gold color. So I'm going to start by putting a little paint here. Take a Q-tip here. I'm just gonna start going over it here. You wanna make sure you get it nice and deep in the grooves. What we're going to do is we're going to let this dry, so you don't want to put too much on. You just want a nice thin coat that assures that it's deep in each groove. All right, should do it for the skull. We're also going to do the safe mode in gold as well. Now we are going to use the red for the fire modes. It's going to look messy initially. Uh, this is naturally going to be part of the process, but what we're going to do here is we're going to let it dry and we're going to let the paint sink, uh, sink nice and deep into the grooves. And then we're going to use a bit of uh, non-acetone nail polish to clean it off. And I'm going to show you guys what this looks like here. Alrighty, I'll check back in with you when it's dry. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. Uh, it's gotten, you know, relatively dry, so we're gonna go ahead and start the uh, cleanup of this. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna use some non-acetone nail polish, so if you have a uh, mom, sister, or brother at home that uh, may have some, feel free to, you know, go into their stash and use some. All right, so I'm gonna start by uh, putting a little bit on this paper towel here. From there, we just want to start wiping the surface. It's going to get a little messy. Don't worry about it, just keep cleaning. All right, probably going to need to get another paper towel here. I may have used an excessive amount of paint here, but it's a good lesson for you guys. We'll keep it going. Let me get another paper towel here. Alrighty. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know stop the camera, but you're gonna continue wiping and I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. All right guys, checking back in. Going to finish uh, cleaning up the skull here. As you can see, there's a little bit of uh, paint still left over. So I'm gonna clean this up. It's nice and dry now. As you guys can see, I switched to a Q-tip to clean it all up. Helps with uh, the smaller details. get some of this leftover polish off show you guys what it looks like now there it is if you guys have any questions about the paint I'll show you again this is what we used And uh, just a tip for you guys, if you want to get into the smaller details, a uh, toothpick usually helps using the end of it. Uh, it'll help you get into the small grooves and assure that uh, the paint is nicely set into the grooves. So there's that. All right, guys, I want to leave you with a few parting tips here. As you can see, the project turned out uh, quite nicely, in my opinion. Uh, everything is filled in nicely and I think the finish looks perfect but uh, it's subjective it's uh, for you to decide but if you are interested in doing this what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a non acetone nail polish remover otherwise if it uh, is not non acetone it could destroy the black anodized finish and uh, you wouldn't want to do that to your lower receiver so another thing I want to mention is that uh, when you're cleaning the paint off and uh, you're wiping it all away you want to be sure since here you know there are two different colors uh, you want to be sure that you're doing this in one direction and you're doing the red you get a new cloth and you do it in another direction otherwise you may risk uh, you know smearing it into each other and you definitely don't want to do that so uh, those are a couple tips that I have for you guys uh, if you have any questions feel free to drop them below well that is it here at the shop today and uh, he just completed a color fill and a review on this Spikes Tactical Punisher Lore Receiver. That was a uh, tabletop review as well as a uh, how-to on the color fill. As you can see here it's complete now. Stay tuned to the channel. Uh, we will be completing this bill as the parts come in so you know, stay tuned and uh, there will be a lot more to come. Thanks for joining Better Guns and Gear channel today. I'd also like to uh, remind you, uh, ladies and gents out there, to uh, thank your local military, your local law enforcement, as well as your uh, local first responders. Those that are true American heroes. That's going to conclude this portion of the video. Better Guns and Gear, out here.